Can you enjoy a movie where you don't like a single character? How's it? Welcome back to Tomba Takes Reviews. My name is Sean Tomba. This is where I give you my take. If you're new, I usually do one to two movies a week. I try to do new releases, Netflix, HBO Max, that kind of thing. You know, I just enjoy talking movies, so hit that like and subscribe button so you can get notified and interact with me in the comments below. I care a lot. This is the new Netflix movie starring Rosamund Pike and Peter Dinklage. Basic uh, plot is Rosamund Pike's character runs a scam where she is able to get old people's assets from them and sell them off and make a fortune. Except this time they scam the wrong old woman whose son is the Russian mob. Why it's the Russian mob? Can't really say why they decided to do that. There was really no point. Uh, the best thing about this is the acting. Rosamund Pike definitely carries this film. She's really in the character. You really hate her. And in the beginning, you kind of see how it works. What the step, what kind of steps she takes, her and her partner take to seek out a candidate, the kind of help they have, you know, under the rug kind of payments and stuff like that. And so that, in setting up this kind of world, you already hate her because she's a scam artist. And her view is, well, if you're not cheating the system, you're gonna be poor. And if you're poor, that means you're not cheating the system. So you need to do whatever you need to do to make money, to get rich. You want to be rich, you got to cheat the system. So when we get this new target, that's kind of when the story picks up because this target is clearly not unable to live. She's not, she doesn't need help to live. That's basically what, what it is because you put these targets in the care home. The guy who runs the care home is in on it. He makes profit off of it and so on. So then we have Peter Dinklage who plays the son of this woman and he's the mob, Russian mob. So he goes through great lengths to try and get his mom back. I'm a huge fan of Peter Dinklage, obviously Game of Thrones. He was my favorite character in that uh, TV show. He does a good job, He, but again, he's not a nice guy either. But I felt a little more sympathetic for him than I do for our main character. And I don't know if that was what the director intended or the writer intended or whoever decided. They they try to get you to feel for the main character because of a couple things that happen. I still didn't. I still didn't like her. And towards the end, and like starting the third act, a lot of very convenient things happened that kind of knocked off some, some stars for me. <clears throat> for instance, she's in his car and she has just been drugged but she wakes up at the most opportune time and survives this ordeal that she has to go through. And if you think that's a spoiler, when you're watching it, I don't feel like you would really think that she was going to be injured. That's just me, I mean, I watch movies. I'm sure if you're watching this, you watch movies too, you would kind of figure it out. The ending, satisfactory. That's all I'm really gonna say about that. I wish though that they had edited it a little differently. I won't say what it was. I just think it would have been more powerful, I guess, had they edited it in just a slightly different way. And you, if you watch it, please let me know what you think of it. So for the acting, it's a three out of five, but should you watch this movie? If you bullet. That is gonna do it for our take today. Catch you next time. Shoots.